Hey guys, welcome to the finale recap of Project One, <laughs> Project Runway Teams Edition. You say that ten times fast. All right, so it's down to Michelle, Stanley, and Patricia. What a great season this has been. This is probably one of my all-time favorite seasons of Project Runway, surprisingly, because it didn't start out that way. I've really grown to love and admire these uh, designers this season. So it's crunch time. They've only got three days left, but they have their help that they had from, be uh, from before. And surprise, Tim Gunn announces everyone's going to mood with $500. Excellent. Because they got to make it fixed for us. <laughs> Some of them have to sex it up, some of them have to edit down, and some of them have to make it work, because nobody's really finished at this point. So they have the traditional L'Oreal Paris con consult. I want to know where's Collier Strong. I freaking love that guy. They had the hair consult. Um, Tim checks in. Tim had some harsh words for some of the designers, but you know what? I love Tim Gunn. I think he is the sweetest, but the harshest mentor there is. But when he's harsh, he only does it because he wants them to be the best. So I really, really appreciate Tim Gunn. Michelle, she's almost there, but honey, lose the compass. It's too weird. <laughs> it's too, it's too geek. Uh, Stanley, dust off the cobwebs, honey. That old Hollywood glamour is got to be modern and fresh. And Patricia, oh lord, <laughs> get some cohesiveness. It's just a hot mess without that. So the day before, oh, they were working like dogs the day before. It's like you've got one day left and they were just like, all except for Michelle, of course, because she's always had everything under control because she's kind of a control freak. I have a feeling she's like a really hyper type A personality. Whatever, if it works for her. So the families arrive. Oh, it was so sweet. It was a real touching moment for everybody because at this point they're at their low, they're totally stressed out, and the families come back and energize them, bring their energy level back up to where it should be so that they could finish this pig. All right, so <laughs> poor Stanley though. He is nowhere near being done. I think at this point, a day before, he still had like four garments that needed to be totally constructed and pretty much something on everything else. So Michelle, of course, is very upset because I really don't think she likes Patricia. And she will do anything to help Stanley get his line up and going. She's even going to give him some of her sewers to help him out, which was nice, but I don't know. Something a little bit catty about Michelle. I don't know her, but what I've seen from the edit. All right. They're at Lincoln Center. They showed them getting ready at 2 o'clock in the morning to go to the show. <laughs> oh, my God. They must have been exhausted. Uh, there's backstage chaos. Stanley has an army of sewers trying to finish his line so that it can walk. He's actually sewing people into their clothes as they're waiting in line to walk. It was the most horrific thing ever, says Tim Gunn. He's never seen anything like it in the history of the show. And I have to agree, your clothing should be pretty much finished before you're ready to put your models out on the runway. So, Michelle, let's talk about her line. She went first. It's kind of Hunger Games meets Logan's Run. It was earthy. It was organic. She was inspired by wolves. It's utilitarian, yet it's uh, a lady warrior. It, it had a lot going on, even though it had like one million themes. <laughs> I'm sorry, there was a lot going on there, but it was very cohesive. You could tell all of the pieces belonged to her. Patricia. Oh, I've been rooting for Patricia for like the last few episodes. About five or so episodes back, I was like, she, I don't understand why she's on the show. And then I understood what Heidi saw, what Zach saw, what Nina didn't see. Because Nina does not like, whenever Patricia is mentioned, Nina already puts on her mean face and she just doesn't want to listen. She just blocks it out. So Patricia's line was fresh, it was young, it was beautiful, some of the pieces. The fabrics were all ones that she had created or uh, conceived. It was fun, it was happy, people were enjoying it, they were smiling. 
I really liked Patricia's line a lot, and I was really rooting for Patricia. Stanley, he actually has models out on the runway. <laughs> it was amazing. I don't know how on earth he pulled it off. It was a Project Runway miracle. So he described his as urban opulence, and it was. It was swanky. It had swagger. It had heavy dark fabrics. <laughs> it was old luxury. It was like old Hollywood luxury. So the judges say, Michelle, you've got lots of pieces to sell. <laughs> lots of interchangeables. Everyone liked the black coat with the bags on it. Um, the dresses, the first dress that she sent down was, um, you know, they go for those big uh, skirty dresses with the pleats. Everyone was going nuts for the bleeding heart sweater. I don't see what the attraction was because I would not be wearing that. I'm sorry, am I too old? Am I too Stanley's line? I don't know. Even Michael Kors was chiding her over using wool coating fabric for the gown. Patricia, uh, she made her own fabrics. Michael loved the leather lumberjack with the Renaissance poofy shorts. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Patricia was the only one up there who had anything original that I hadn't seen before. She, she's a true artist, a real artist. Amazing. Stanley. <laughs> Poor Stanley. He's lucky he had models walking. They described one of his uh, pieces as an old lady's gown, his, his main piece. The best part was when Michael Kors... Um, said appetite suppressant ring you wear that to a party and you can't eat because you can't lift your hand it's so big he did try and salvage most of his styling with the accessories to make it feel a little bit younger but that's like trying to revive somebody who's uh flatlining with a, a nine volt battery it's not happening so the judges stanley it's nice but it's mostly old lady things and it's boring. You're out. I felt bad for Stanley. You know, I really like him as a person. That's why I felt so bad because I really identify with his story. I really, I like him. Patricia, you're an artist and you're unique and you're special, but Nina hates you, so you're out. I was so disappointed that Michelle won. Not for the fact that Michelle won, but for the fact that Patricia lost because I thought she really deserved to win. So Michelle, they like I said, they love the the bleeding heart sweater and that dress that she uh, began her show with. So she wins. <laughs> I don't know. Michelle's the only one that I didn't really have an emotional connection with. So that's I guess that's another reason why I'm kind of disappointed. Let me know, please, in the comments who you thought should have won and if you're happy with the result. And thanks for watching, guys. It's been an awesome season, and I'll see you next time. Till then, much love.